guys and welcome back to my channel thank you guys for coming to my channel i hope you all enjoy this look i am really feeling myself i absolutely love this look i've not done something this colorful in a while so i hope you all enjoy as usual the first thing we do we prime our eyelids and today i'm using the ambrosia cosmetics eye effects for today's palette we are using the morphe 35b palette and the first color we're using is the orange and we're just applying this above our crease to be used as our transition shade. Color number two is this yellow and we're just going to use it to blend out the edges of our transition shade. Just to take away any harsh lines, you'll know that is like my kryptonite. After using the yellow, I went back in with the same brush I used for the orange shade just to ensure the color didn't get lost. The next color I applied to my crease was this purple which really wasn't blending very well with the orange but I tried to fix it and you'll see that in a few clips ahead. Also you have to be very careful when applying the darker shades onto the lighter transition colors because any mistake will show up. After applying the purple, I did think that the orange was not showing up as much as I wanted. So I went back in and I applied it lightly and I also took a clean brush and just blended out the line between the orange and the purple. And here is where I was telling you all the eyeshadow was not blending properly. It was just very patchy and I just had to pat on the color instead of swiping. Next, I cut my crease using the same eyeshadow primer I used earlier. Next, I took the same purple that I used for the crease and I just blended it, blended out the end of the primer that I used to cut my crease and I applied my different eyelid shades. It really is very straightforward as you will see. The first lid color I'm using is Zola from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and I'm starting on my innermost corner and I'm just bringing it up to almost middle of the area that I had the cut crease and the second color I'm taking is this lovely blue from the Morphe 35B palette which got cut off because my camera stopped and for my bottom lash line I'm using this deep purple and a flat eyeliner brush from e.l.f. and I'm also going to take this pink and a smudge brush from e.l.f. as well and just go around the perimeter of the purple. And of course my brow bone highlight is Dahia from the Julius Place Masquerade palette and I also use Dahia on my inner corner. And to avoid any harsh lines I went back in with a bit of the yellow to blend out any harsh lines that Dahia may have caused. Lastly, I just brush off the excess powder and any, and any fallout and apply my liner and today I use a new liner and I also topped it with a pink liner. And for mascara today, I used the Tarte Cosmetics Light Camera Lashes Mascara and I topped it with the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. guys so that was today's look i hope you all enjoyed it you know i'm really just chilling trying to figure out what you're gonna do after you finish watch this video you might as well you know just there's just you know i'll just put it here i won't even say much you know and then while you're doing that you can always yeah yeah i wouldn't really say anything about that either but you know i'll just you'll just see two things on the screen and you can pick either one it's entirely up to you yeah but i love you guys <laughs> And I'll see you all at my next video. Mwah.